Hello YouTube, this is Slayer, or Zero Dragon, coming at you with my Red Omni deck profile for Digimon. Um, there are some changes you can make to the deck, well, um, I'm not playing competitive, it's just, um, this is my fun var variant, well, it's actually aggressive. Um, if you didn't check out this video of the spicy Digimon live battle, that's how, uh, you can check that out. No, uh, hopefully I have a link in the description if I remember correctly. Anyway, starting off with our level three for the deck. Actually, the third of the G Thomas. Uh, I'm using one Gigimon and then four Kuramon from BT five. Battle of Omni. I don't have the third deck. Uh, it, that's what. And that's the Kuramon you want to use. This is the only one I have on hand besides Gigimon, but I like Kuramon better because it's. Because of Karma, it gives you more power. Because I want to turn this, this has Animon or Greymon or any other than Doramon. Or any Greymon or Dex of it's name trigger. Trigger, draw one. So when it's attacking, just draw a card. While Gigamon is, um, during your turn, if there's five or more cards in the in your opponent's trash, uh, this is when it gets plus 1000 DP. DP is, um, battle points or damage points, whatever. I don't know. And so the low threes I'm using are four shop mines. Whoops, where is it? Oh, yeah, there we go. Four shop mines of that because um, shop what shaman does um, it helps you dig out to your deck more for um, for any card of um, for cards with Omni shaman uh, shaman is name and um, card with blitz. There's an ability that it lets you attack during your opponent's turn if you have one or if they have one or more memory and they're with them, um, and then his inheritance ability is uh, when while well, this Digimon has Blitz, it gets 2000 DP. Next, I'm running um for Agumon because it helps you as same as Agum uh, Shaman, but this one helps you out to dig up for a uh, Greymon and uh, any card with Greymon's name, as well as Omnimon. So that's why I run three uh, four of uh, Agumon because it helps dig up for the deck for Omnimon. Next up for my level fours, I am running four gray mines because um if you're digivolving to and this is um if well digivolving if this is just I go with digivolution cards, gain one memory, and it turns effect is um well this digivolve has animon or burning gray mine, in its name it gets two thousand DP, so more power. Then I'm also running four Monochromon as the blocker, which I'm not using to attack with. You just use it to protect yourself and all that. Um, also, um, when attacking, lose two memory, so it helps out with rookie rush decks. So yeah, that's why I'm running four of that. But um, if you want to take out some of the option card, which I will show later to run in uh, more blockers. That's up to you. This is what I'm using because this is what I built from just a booster box. And on to the level 5 Digimons, I am running one Metal Greymon because it's piercing. Um, when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon and survives the battle, it performs any security checks normally. When Digivolving, um, you can return a level 7 Digimon card with virus and its attribute. Find your trash to your hand. So, yeah, it helps out to. So, basically, I have. If you had any Digimon with virus as uh, digi um ugh, with virus uh, virus and its attribute, just add it back to the hand. Um, it will show right here on the bottom right corner, virus. Yep, and as well as I'm also running three um, metal grandma Altersma just for the inherited effects. Well, this one has Animon or grandma in its name, it gets 2,000 DP, and then when Digivolving, if this card has a, has one of Greymon in its name, Digivolution cards, delete one of your opponent Digimon with 4,000 or 4,000 DP or less. Basically, also helps out with Rookie Rush just to delete, just to get rid of them on the board. And then my final five level five Digimons, I running, I have four uh, Omni Shotmon. Um, basically, Shotmon can Digivolve in this for a cost of. Uh, for the ever did you ugh, can't speak today? I don't know why. For Digi Evolution cost of four, 
And then for inheritance skill, it is uh, while Digimon has Blitz, it gets security plus one. So basically, it's checks for uh, another security. And to the level six, I am running four Zeke Greymon. Uh, when Digimon Digivolving Blitz, this this can, this Digimon can attack. When your opponent has one or more memory, and then its hearing to skill is um, when Digimon uh, attacks with Blitz, you it can also attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon. So yep, then I'm also running uh four Omni Shopmon. So when Digivolving Blitz, this can attack when your opponent has one or more memory, and when Digivolving, you can place one red Digimon from your hand. On the top of the this uh, Digimon's Digivolution cards, and for each Omni Shaman or Zeke Greymon is Digivolution cards, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 5,000 DP or less. So again, helps out to get rid of Rookie Rush. That's why I run three of him. I would run four, but you can get your hands on three or three uh, four of Omni Shaman. You can, you can run four of him. Then I'm also running one um. Press a Garumon. That's for it, um that's for his Digivolution ability. Um for every one card at the top of your deck for each Digimon your opponent has in play. You can you may play one red, one black or red Digimon with the, a level of five or less among them without paying its, uh, paying its memory cost. Then place um, the remaining cards in the bottom of the deck in any order. So that helps out with that. And then I then we have um Blitz Greymon. So again, just for the the digivolution effect, uh, trigger D Digivolve two mon two. One of your the D D digivolution two. One of your opponent's Digimon charts with two cards on top of your opponent's Digimon card. If it has no digivolution cards or becomes a level three, you cannot trash anymore. So basically, it re it weakens Rookie Rush even more. And then for my level sevens, I am running. For Omni Shaman from BT05. Yep, um, he all ha also has a Blitz ability. So it can attack during your opponent's turn. Uh, unsuspend this Digimon and then all turns. If an effect would delete this Mon or return it to its owner's hand or deck, you prevent it from leaving pay by trashing a level 6 card and its evolution cards. So, yeah, like I said, this is, this is an aggressive deck with uh, aggressive red deck with Blitz, which is why I run, I have that. Then as my option cards, I'm running one Plasma Strike to get rid of problematic Digimons because um, main delete uh, main delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 or DP or more. Then a security effect it just activates the main effect, which is this one. So that helps out to get rid of any un other un only ones such as Wards and all that. Then uh, I'm running one Brave Shield. Uh, basically, just uh, unsuspend a Digimon and give it blocker as long as well as that's it, right? Yeah, until your opponent, yeah, until the end of your opponent's turn, and then it has the same effect as a security. Just I don't know why it says that. Just why does it just say activate main effects? Which is stupid. Then I'm also running um one um a storm a blazing storm of metal. Until the end of turn, uh, then your opponent's next turn, all your Digimon reboot gets plus one thousand DP and blocker. So yeah, it helps out. Um, it just helps your you to defend your security more with this. And then I'm also running a um, Mega Digi Evolution. Uh, I have this just as a backup measure. So effect. The next time when your Digimon Digivolves from level six to seven this turn, reduce the memory cost of the Digimon uh, the Digi Evolution by six. At the end of the turn, you return the Digimon that Digivolve with this effect to the bottom. Of the Owner's deck, then trash all the evolution cards, and just um, its security effect just add this to the hand. So, um, I have that just for backup resorts, just in case that I can't do much. Then, in my tamer cards, I'm running for a Tai Chi BT1. I'm not sure this is the, the deck because I, I bought these off of a guy. Um, I wish I had a fourth one that way I can get rid of. A blazing metal, a blazing storm of metal to run for Tai Chi. Cause there's start your turn if you have two or less memory, set your memory to three, then all turns 
All of your rare Digimon with four or more Digi Evolutions gain security plus one, which can attack, destroy one more security card. Then I'm also running three uh, Takumi Ayaba. Um, when you Digimon, do you suspend this to draw a card? So suspending when this is um unsuspend, and this is suspending. So for you in uh, Yugi turns, this is attack. This is defense. Yeah, and then the yeah, um, also helps out with Rookie Rush because all turns, all low three Digimon gain when attacking lose one memory. So yeah, this helps deplete Rookie Rush more. I'm also running Takamiya and Matt Ishida. So start your turn if your opponent has a low six or higher Digimon in playing game two memory. Then your turn as well. Um, all your Digimon with Ami and this name in their name get security attack one. Which they'll do another one. Which um, it doesn't say it's a once per turn. So if you had two, it that will be a uh, double security. And as well as you, if you, well, if you have uh, tie as well, that will be a triple security destruction. Which I have done. Stupid. And then from the last time I'm playing Nokia, on play you can play one Agumon or one Gagumon from your hand without paying a memory cost. So basically. You can, if you have three memory, three memory, and you have this in an Agumon, instead of paying for six to use these to summon on these, you can just pay three use her effect, play Agumon, use this effect to reveal top three, add a Greymon, any card with Greymon, and then Omnimon if they're to the hand. And then main, when you Digimon, when Digimon, one of your Digimons into a Digimon card with girl, um. So Gagumon, Omnimon, or Greymon reduce evolution by one. So yep, that was my um, Omni Omni Shaman aggressive deck. And also like, comment, subscribe, and also comment down below. Uh, what do you like me doing better, deck profiles or box opening? And I won't be posting for the next three weeks because I'm gonna be saving up for to do something. Anyways. I hope you liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe again. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.